Good morning, this is Pastor Lynn with Goodland United Methodist Church. As you're hearing this broadcast this morning, we're packing the final boxes to make our move from our community here. Bill and I have enjoyed being here for the last two years. We are headed north to Nebraska, Elgin, Verdigree, and Bloomfield. Moving truck comes this morning, and so I know it'll be a great day. I want to talk to you this morning about the raccoon and the dog. First Peter says, your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking to find someone they may devour. When a dog gets the scent of a raccoon, the race is on to see if the dog will catch the raccoon before the raccoon reaches the tree. The raccoon is no match for a large dog, so it runs for its life. But if the raccoon can lure the dog into the water, the table is turned. The raccoon is a better swimmer and is able to get behind the dog. Then it climbs on the dog's back and can drown the dog unless the dog can reach the bank. So, which one do you think is the devil and which one do you think is of the Lord? When we are in the devil's element, we are in danger. Satan's element includes envy, anger, hatred, and worry. When we find ourselves experiencing these things, We are standing on dangerous ground. When we are in our own element as Christians, safe and sound in the church, or at a Bible study, or in a prayer group, Satan has a much harder time hurting us. One little word subdues him, wrote Luther. Prayer, scripture, reading, attendance in church, the honesty with oneself we call confession and the affirmation we call absolution are all part of your element. So we invite you to stay there today. What do you think Martin Luther meant by his words? One little word subdues him in the song, A mighty fortress is our God. We are called to remember that God is truly a mighty fortress, and that our enemy, the devil, is out there around us everywhere, trying to find those that he may devour like a roaring lion. But just like the dog and the raccoon in our story, each one has to use their perfect wit and their will to survive. And so I would like to think that the dog is a Christian and that the raccoon is the devil. And so we need to be watching out for all of those eyes of the raccoons. You know, they stand out so well in the dark. When you're driving down the road, what animal is it that you usually come across in the middle of the night? Because their sight is much better at nighttime. I invite you to stay tuned to your local church, to be in prayer, to take time to read God's word, and to develop your own sense of self-worth as you go through life. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a good week.